How to dye your hair with tea, coffee or spices. Commercial hair dyes can be expensive, not to mention that they are full of chemicals and irritants. Many people have allergies to over-the-counter and professional hair dyes. However, you can use natural products such as coffee, teas, fruits, and vegetables to color your hair. Keep in mind that these methods are semi-permanent and will wash out over time. This video contains tips on how to dye hair with multiple all-natural substances. Darkening your hair. 1. Use brewed coffee and leave-in conditioner. Coffee is a great and cheap natural product that you can use to dye your hair darker. Be sure to buy organic coffee as non-organic coffee can contain other chemicals. Make a strong coffee with organic coffee. You should make it too strong to drink and use a dark roast or espresso. This will provide the most potent dye. Let your coffee cool down. You don't want to burn your scalp in the process. Mix 2 cups of leave-in all-natural conditioner with a 2 tea of organic coffee grounds and 1 cup of cold strong brewed coffee. Always mix your materials in a non-metal bowl, as metal can affect your color. Apply the mixture to your hair with applicator bottles. You can get these at beauty supply stores. Let the mixture sit for 1 hour, then rinse. Your hair will now have a beautiful chocolate color. 2. Make a coffee rinse. This procedure might need to be repeated a few times for best results. Shampoo your hair, then pour strong brewed coffee, that is cooled, over your hair. Leave the coffee on for 20 minutes. Rinse your hair with apple cider vinegar. This will remove the coffee and help to seal in the color. Repeat rinses as needed to get even darker results. 3. Make a rinse from black walnuts. You can use walnut powder or the walnut hulls. Walnut hulls will provide the most potent dye and tend to stain. If you are using hulls, crush them and cover them with boiling water. Let this soak for 3 days. If you are using walnut powder, boil water and pour 5 tablespoons of powder into it, depending on the darkness you want. Let the mixture soak for a few hours or longer if you want darker results. Apply the mixture to your hair and let it sit for at least 20 minutes and let it air dry. Your hair should now be several shades darker. 4. Make a tea from sage and rosemary. This is also a great method for covering gray hair. Mix equal parts of sage and rosemary to 1 cup of hot water. Steep the herbs for at least 10 minutes. Strain the herbs from the water. Use the liquid as a rinse. Repeating daily until hair is darkened to the desired shade. 5. Make a strong black tea rinse. This is best for brunettes who want to darken their hair. Use 3 black tea bags and 2 cups of boiling water. Allow it to steep for 5 minutes then allow it to cool. Apply to hair using applicator bottles, then let it sit for about 1 hour before rinsing. To cover gray, add an equal amount of sage to the water with the tea while it is steeping. Lightening and adding highlights. 1. Add yellow highlights with tea made from chamomile. This is an effective natural way to lighten your hair. Steep chamomile tea bags in boiling water for at least 30 minutes. Shampoo and towel dry your hair. Pour tea rinse over your hair and let it air dry. Repeat for a few days until you reach your desired shade. 2. Use lemons to lighten hair. This method works slowly over several uses. Apply pure lemon juice to hair. It will act as a natural bleach. Lightening effects can be intensified by exposing the treated hair to sunlight. This method works slowly over several applications. Be patient. 3. Make a tea from turmeric calendula, and chamomile tea. Turmeric is a bright yellow spice known for its use in Indian cooking and fabric dyeing. Add equal parts turmeric, calendula, and chamomile to boiling water. Steep for 20 minutes, then strain. Apply to hair, leave on for 15 to 20 minutes, then rinse. Repeat as desired for enhanced results. 4. Create bright highlights with a rhubarb root in water. You will want to use the dried root of the rhubarb plant for this method. 
Simmer 3 to 4 tablespoons of dried rhubarb root in a quart of water for 20 minutes. Don't breath the steam. Let this mixture sit overnight and strain in the morning. Pour mixture on hair, catching the liquid in a bucket. Repeat 2 to 3 times. Air dry without rinsing. Enhancing red tones and highlights. 1. Enhance reddish tones with paprika and rose hips. Paprika is a reddish spice that can enhance red tones, or add red highlights to hair. Make a tea from rose hips. Brew rose hips in boiling water. Let the tea cool. Make a paste using the tea and paprika and apply it to hair. You might find it helpful to use an applicator brush. You can find these at beauty supply stores. Leave the paste on hair for at least 30 minutes then rinse. 2. Apply bead and carrot juice to hair. This method is simple but may require multiple applications for enhanced results. Mix beet and carrot juice together in equal parts. Apply the mixture through the hair and work it through. Leave the mixture on for at least 60 minutes before rinsing. This method works best to enhance color in red hair. In blondes, the results tend to turn out a bright strawberry blonde. 3. Use rose hips to add a light reddish tint to hair. You can do this method by making a strong herbal tea from dried rose hips. Bring 2 cups of water to a boil. Add 1 cup of rose hips. Let the mixture steep until the water turns a deep red color. Cool the mixture and then strain it. Massage into hair and then let it sit 20 minutes before rinsing. Repeat as necessary.